hidden colors, nigga really lost them. Like a pitchfork street in Boston. Life is a circus. Snake charmer swallowing my serpent. Is my brain working? Thinking with my second head. Third eye closed when I'm fucking off a of fifth of gin. Paintbrush, 50 shades of gray. Watch me blend it in. Joy is in the morning. May the night never settle in. Nights in the castle for the queen. Trying to be the king. Had his eyes open wide shut. Never seen a thing. Waiting on the morning. What they do, Black Lotus, the brand of lifestyle. What's good, Tim? What's going on? This, you know, I start off listening to some Black Lotus music. Couldn't liberate the pain with Demerol. They throw you off the cliff and all they tell you why Jesus about to save you from the slip and fall. The judge about to hit them all with Jim Crow nigga law. They don't go and get a job, get Uncle Sam ingratiated. Get them education papers, put you on some debt for later. My daddy died on the death later. Dead broke, couldn't get a bill from a legislator. Sonny speaks what they do, what they do, what they do. Mindset Monday, y'all know what it is. Black Lotus, the brand, the lifestyle. Pennies to dollars, dollars to leverage, leverage your way to freedom. Today's topic is planning, perspective, and patience. Planning, perspective, and patience. Yeah, man. So, uh, happy new year to everybody. This is the first Mindset Monday of the year, 2020. I hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody have their plans. I'm not even going to say resolutions. I'm just going to say plans, goals, objectives, and um, have them in a measurable capacity. I hope everybody has them in a measurable capacity. What they do, Royalty Cashmatic, uh, D-HUD, what they do, what they do, man. How's y'all New Year's been? How's this going? Um, so tell me what y'all... Uh, Briefly, what y'all plan is for 2020? What y'all um, what y'all planning? A little short, a little short thing. What you planning? Are you planning to purchase more stocks? Are you planning to increase your credit? The Kaizen investor, what they do, Queen? What they do, Queen? <clears throat> I'm gonna shout at you, man. I, I saw your Insta story, man. We are gonna have to chop it up. See what's going on. See what's going on with you, Queen. So um, so today's topic is um. Uh, planning perspective and patience so what are some of y'all plans for the 2020 we'll just say first quarter is it to um, buy some more stocks is it to um, get some real estate is it to get some deals is it to get some calls is it to get a truck is it to find a driver um, what's some what's some of y'all um, plans for this new year, or at least for the first quarter. Let's talk about that first of all. Um, my plan my plan is to um, get really, really focused on on an area because you know I'm you know I'm saying I encompass a couple of different things. So I'm planning to um, really focus that and streamline it. Also, I have a YouTube channel. Make sure uh, y'all go subscribe. It's Trey Snatch. Um, make sure y'all go subscribe to uh, the Kaizen Investors uh, YouTube channel as well, too. And all of the Mindset Mondays will be on the YouTube channel. Oh, I forgot to screen record it. I'll do that uh, when I finish. But yeah, so all of the Mindset Mondays uh, will be on my YouTube channel. On top of some other things, we're dealing with mindset, health, and wealth on that channel. So I'm going to be talking about different um, hertz frequencies and um, talking about pennies to dollars options. I'm going to be reviewing some apps and some different programs like that on the YouTube channel. So it's going to be pretty dope. So make sure y'all go um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you follow the Kaizen Investor 
And while I'm thinking about it, Queen Sunny Speaks is on here. She's doing a tour. She does it every year. She's doing a 21 day vegan challenge. Uh, it's on Facebook. So make sure you check that out. It's going to be really, really dope every week. Uh, doing different recipes and different vegan recipes, raw, Dr. Sabi, different things like that. Y'all know the motto, health is wealth. So what's the point in building all of this wealth and getting this stuff if we're not here to enjoy what we've built, right? We want that um, longevity and sustainability. So make sure y'all, um, if y'all not on Facebook, make sure y'all jump on that and follow uh, Sunny Speaks and get with the 21 Day Vegan Challenge, I believe it's called. Also, the Kaizen Investor, if you're not following her, follow her and subscribe to her YouTube channel as well. She have her Soul Food Sundays that's on her YouTube channel as well, too. So make sure y'all subscribe to that. You know what I mean? So with that being said, yeah. So my plans is to uh, streamline, streamline it. Um, oh, I also have a private Facebook group too, the Black Lotus uh uh, dojo club so if you're interested in joining the facebook group uh dm me and i'll uh we'll get it worked out i get you put in a private facebook group and right now it's uh you know there's no cost or whatever and we're sharing a lot of different ideas it's um uh, multifaceted creatives um so we have a lot of different realms in there we're going to be supporting each other and learning from each other on a lot of different aspects because we all have concepts and we all have ideas and we need a community to you know support it a and b whatever your concept idea your dream is it still needs that funding right it still needs to um it still needs to do that king orlando what they do what they do um yeah, tonight's topic, planning. Okay, I'll, I'll tag that. I'll pin that. Boom. Tonight's topic, planning, perspective, and patience. So, with that being said, so, with the planning, right? So, planning to, like for myself, I'm planning to um, streamline my whole topics and spread them out. I have, um, yes, the Instagram is one aspect, but as well, you know, we have the Facebook group, we have the YouTube uh, channel as well too, right? So we're going to be talking about get into five restaurants. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. And she also, Sunny Speaks also has her Sunny Speaks smacking steak. It's vegan steak. It's delicious. You know, every time she comes, I purchase. I have some right now. It's fire and it's uh, non-soy steak. And no meat in it and you could do so many dope things with it you could do so so many things with it so i love it uh you know you can make philly cheese steaks pepper steak uh taco steak tacos curry goat oxtail man you can do so many vegan things with the steak i love it you know what i'm saying so um make sure y'all follow sunny speaks and um that's what it is so with that being said so okay so that's my plan to to streamline my topics and my content <clears throat> further monetize it also um i'm just about finished with my dually dojo course so that's going to be coming out as well too so i have a couple of courses uh that i'm going to be doing one is the dually dojo course another one is uh, a gps zero to 100 course and um so i have a couple of things going on with that right so now i have my plan on the content that i want to create um more or less putting together a schedule to put that together in a timeline and now what i would like is to grow from that right but now the perspective of it is like okay well <clears throat> i'm looking at it from a perspective of an optimistic perspective right and you hope for the best but now what about that expecting the worst what about when things don't pop off in a timely fashion that I want it to pop off will it pop off in three months six months nine months a year who's to say and time flies but it's coming almost in a couple of months it'll be a whole year since I've been doing these mindset Mondays I was like wow you know mindset I probably started it maybe in maybe February March maybe I started mindset Monday and now here we are in January as well too and I didn't I, then the perspective of it is like, well, wow, I've been doing it. The positive perspective of it is, hey, I've been doing it for a year. The negative or the pessimistic perspective of it is like, hey, I just started doing screen recordings and putting them on YouTube. 
if I would have been doing that this whole year, I would have had a lot more content and I had a lot more different guests, right? So am I looking, do I look at it from the um, pessimistic aspect or what I could have, should have did that I have no control over or for the optimistic aspect of, okay, now I know what to do moving forward, right? Queen Molly, what they do. Then when we talk about patience, it's like, well, when things and I myself am a victim of that to where when things don't go the way I expected them to go within a time period, I could get discouraged and frustrated. Now, can anybody, um, you know, agree with that? Does anybody you don't you don't lose, you learn. <clears throat> Absolutely. You know what I mean? But can anybody relate to that? Where you might, you know, I might have wanted to accomplish a goal in a certain period of time or something to catch in a certain period of time and it doesn't catch in that period of time. Now you get frustrated, you get discouraged. I'm a big proponent of that and it's something that I'm working on myself as well too. When things don't go the way I saw them going in that time period, but that's when patience come into it. That's where patience, yeah, sometimes you're not ready. That's where patience comes into the fold of the matter, right? You got to have patience. Like, well, I saw it going this way within the first quarter or the first fiscal year, and it didn't. But that's where patience comes in at, you know? So it's all relative. This is a season to plant and a season to harvest. The cousin investor said that, and it is like she's like a low-key genius slash oracle because she said that you don't plant and harvest in the same season you know what i'm saying but you can also look at it like this you practice for a year and now you're ready experienced in season now mm, the season to tend the crops absolutely absolutely you know um i'm i'm charismatic and i'm a people's person but i'm not so much you know i'm still getting used to talking to this whole camera thing like i know y'all are there and we're communicating so you know it's a little different but it's 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 different for me like if it's like a rap song or something and i'm doing a rap song or a performance or something to that extent i could you know get into the zone but when it comes to you know being so transparent and and vulnerable on a camera and talking to some you know talking to a phone it's it's still a little different you know it's a uh bob prodder not me what's that what's bob prodder oh he said that the harvest in the season hey guess what i don't know bob you know what i'm saying i know you so you know you know I give you that credit. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, Bob. It's been commandeered. You know what I'm saying? It belongs to the Kaiser investor at this point. You know what I'm saying? Bob got to suck it up or see me. You know what I'm talking about? That belongs to you, Queen. You feel me? You can't harvest in the same season. And yes, I understand that. You know, I understand that too. But, you know, I'm such a creative and I'm so ambitious to where, you know, at the beginning, it'll it'll I'll be excited and then I got to keep that steam and you know that's where the patience comes in at you know what I'm saying and also perspective always look at it from an optimistic perspective and these things that I'm talking about um <laughs> yeah sorry Bob <laughs> you know what I'm saying we took that forget about that but um these things I'm learning I'm learning uh me and you are the same yeah I'm learning these things as I go I'm learning these things as I go and um, I'm also going to be talking about my journey within this past year as well, too, because I got exposed to a lot of different things, tried a lot of different things and some of the things I'm still doing and whatnot. But it's an idea of the possibilities that can be out there and the opportunities that are available. But, you know, it's difficult it's difficult now you know i'm a pisces my birthday's next month february 20th and it's difficult for me it's difficult for me to stay in the the positivity or the optimistic zone a lot of times when it doesn't go as i saw as i planned it to you know and my patience is you know all right you know but we all could you know patience is a virtue so we all could work on it better we all could work on it better. So what are some of the 
key things that y'all uh, do to assert your patience? That's a question that I have for you. What What is the mindset with patience? Especially when things don't go as planned. What are some of the exercises? What are some of the things that you tell yourself, you write down, you do to exercise your patience? All great things are difficult. You don't need to be optimistic. You need to be dedicated to the cause. Absolutely. 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 That is that is the truth. That is the truth. Now, when you dedicate it to the cause, though, and, you know, they say you got to be in love with the process, right? Meditation and reflection. Mm. That's why those Hertz frequencies is a big thing for me. You know what I mean? Like the whole crystals and the whole uh, Himalayan pink salt lamp and the Hertz frequencies. It deals with the mindset, you know. And that's why I like to do that in the morning to, you know, get it toned and get set for my day. Get my mindset set for the day. And I hope y'all are doing that as well, too. Um, now... Being in love with the process is one thing, but like Nip say, you go through every emotion in it. Sandwich yourself good, improve good. I don't understand what you mean, Sunday Speaks. Um, so, so when, so, okay, so what do you do? What do you do when um, you're going through the process and you're dealing with those different emotions within the process, right? What's your perspective on it? You know what I mean? Like, hey, it's not going the way it was planned. Just be what they do, what they do. Tonight's topic, planning, perspective, and patience, right? So we planned it. We have a optimistic perspective, per se. And we're putting patience into the, mo uh, into the equation. Also, we're trusting the process. However, it's still not coming in that timely fashion or it's still not coming within the time period that you expected it to come. How do you not get discouraged or what do you do to move from that that mindset in that area? Ask yourself, what did I do good and what can I improve? What else is good? Can you elaborate what emotions? Okay. You can have the emotions of uh, frustration. You can have the emotion of um, discouragement. You can have the emotions of like, um, I give you an example. I give you an example of uh, like wholesaling. You were wholesaling. So you might have went out and drove for dollars for two weeks and you got a hundred leads, let's say, and you're like, well, I know at least out of these hundred leads, I'm going to get at least one. And you follow up on all the driving for dollar leads and you follow up on every single call and you made the hundred calls and you got nothing. And But you thought in your mind, for sure, I would get at least one follow up or one call back or something out of those hundred and something leads between driving for dollars. Right. So now it's easy to get discouraged. It's easy to get discouraged on that forefront. Like, so what do you tell yourself to say, okay, well, I'm going to go back out there. I'm going to get 100 more leads or I'm going to pay. You might have paid for those leads, right? What they do, royalty, um, you might have paid for those leads and it still didn't turn up for something. So now you're like, well, now do I pay for some more leads? Do I go you know, and do some more drive because those two methods didn't, let's say, work in that realm. So do you go to another method as far as bandit signs? Do you keep going on that? What is the mindset for you to keep going with that same, that same method? You know what I mean? Because in a lot of these realms, we follow other people and which is good because you want to get guidance. You want to get a mentorship. You want to have some type of guidance. But at the same time, everything don't work for everybody. So where, you know, let's say the Kaizen investor used bandit signs and that worked for her. Now you try to use bandit signs and it don't work for you. But cold calling may work for you. So how do you 
you know, what's the mindset for you to keep going on that realm? You have to detach the emotion from the business. When emotion is attached, we take the rejection of our product service as rejection of us. And it's not true. Mm, that's heavy, Sonny Speaks. That's heavy. That's heavy to take the emotion out of the business. Mm, see, and that's that's a magnificent perspective to have. That's a magnificent perspective to have. Magnificent perspective to have in that context. And I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that as well, too. I'm going to take that as well, too. Because we all could learn from each other. But that's a magnificent perspective. Because we got to, you know, we have to think about the process. Rejection is just feedback. Mm. And, and we could also ask. We can also ask, well, you know, what could have <laughs> we also could ask what uh could we have done better, like Sonny Speaks was saying, but we can also ask the client or the individual who rejected us what we could have done better. That's also a perspective too that I've done before as well. Like, well, what could I have done better? What could have been done to change the uh experience not necessarily even the sale because a lot of times it's not about the sale you know it's uh, about relationship business relationships and relationship equity but um what could have been done to um you know change the experience or better the experience within dealing within a specific realm research and development very important research and development and due diligence you know um, it's one thing to know your due diligence, but that experience, you know, um, in business, it's like um, if you do what you say you're, you were going to do, that's half the battle. And then it's about making how, how you made the client feel the client experience. You know what I mean? Um, and that is that it, I believe that's a part of the planning and a perspective as well. You know, when you go ahead and plan, you go ahead and plan to uh, execute. But the perspective of it, you want to keep it. You want to keep it positive. You want to keep the energy good. You want to keep the vibes good and you want to create a solid experience for the customer, whether you're exchanging goods or services, you know. So it's very it's very much so important. Very, very much so important, you know, Um so I want to know though. So Sunny Speaks is getting her uh vegan steak in the five restaurants. So what are some of y'all plans for the uh for the year or for the quarter? Being that it's the first mindset Monday, um, where y'all where are is your mind at? Where y'all mindset at? What's some of y'all plans for the first quarter for this next year? Something to that ex um extent, you know. Are we increasing our portfolios? We building wealth this year. We building wealth. And in what way are we building wealth? You know what I mean? Are we investing in ourselves into that knowledge? And are we um, doing our due diligence and taking uh, taking action? I think my next one is going to be on, um, what do they call it? Throwing a vegan brunch. Yes, I'm looking forward to the vegan brunch. I'm looking forward to that vegan brunch. I'm looking forward to that vegan brunch and I will be there. I will be in attendance. You know what I mean? Just tell me the date and we got to do something. You got to do something again in D.C., man. You, I know you was just in D.C., but you know what I'm saying? You got to touch the people again in D.C., man. Do an in-person cooking class. Hmm. That's interesting. That's interesting. So the people will be <laughs> DJ Loose Ports on the ones and twos. That's another one of my little aliases. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I'm the man with a million side hustles or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, um, so just apply for my trademark currently creating content for young adults. Okay. Magnificent. We might have to, I might have to have you as a, uh, as a guest to talk about that, to promote it on the platform. I'm looking forward to that content for young adults oh tell me more tell me more yeah that's interesting that's very very interesting hmm, i wonder what kind of content i wonder what kind of content that's about 
Say less. Yeah, you know we gonna link, man. You already know what it is, Queen Molly. You already know what it is, you know. But the planning, the planning is the planning is so crucial in the mix. The planning is so crucial. For Q1 is approving the quality of my show and build YouTube channel. Goal is 1K subs. Okay. Okay. I love I love your show, Queen. You know you already know it. You already know how we do. I love your show. You're on point with a guest every week. You know what I mean? Um, I'm subscribed to your YouTube channel, so you know I'm already checking that out. You know, and I'll watch the, uh, I'll be on the live and I'll still go check out YouTube because I want you to get the views. I want you to get that, that what is it, 4,000 hours of watch time so you can go ahead and monetize the channel. My son is 19 and decided not to go to college after he graduated. Many parents panic. I develop a plan for him. Magnificent. Magnificent, magnificent, mm. and I'm pretty sure that's that's gonna be a that's a wonderful perspective, and that's gonna be an inspiration for a lot of people, Queen Molly. That's gonna be an inspiration for a lot of people because now we're getting into a generation where you know kids are not wanting to go to college or young adults are not wanting to go to college because they don't want to get into the debt they don't want to get um sidetracked even if they don't know what it is they exactly want to do they know that they don't want to go to college and get into debt and they also know that they don't want to go into the military and you know you know be at the you know beckoning call of you know agent orange number 45 y'all homeboy you know what i'm saying y'all see what he got going on so that's uh, wonderful. I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to that content and that information. And you down, um, I actually know a couple of um, high school teachers down there um, at the crib. So and parents are vexed when they shouldn't be. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, we definitely going to have to link on that, too, because um, I spent I spent some time in education, especially in the data Dade and Broward area, specifically Broward. So I know some um, teachers in the system so that, you know, maybe some type of uh, content and curriculum and information that is definitely needed in the school system too. skills over degrees all day. Got to learn them skills, got to learn them skills, whether it's interpersonal people skills, trade, uh, tech. Got to have some type of skills, got to have some type of skills to pay the bills. And, you know, jobs is not hiring like that. You know, jobs is not hiring like that. Degrees are becoming less and less uh, relevant in the workforce today, you know, and, you know, with artificial intelligence and technology, it's getting, uh, it's starting to become like data entry, to be honest with you. That's what, that's what I'm seeing and I'm studying and, you know, unless you, you know, have some like trade skills or tech skills, it's gonna get, it's starting to get difficult and it's just gonna uh, continue. It's gonna continue straight up and down. Um, Google hires people with no degrees now. Yeah, I was watching some tech stuff and it's like, um, I was watching this one girl, she's uh, she's still in college. She's in, she's in college or she might be in high school, junior high school, but Google hired her and she's some type of tech analyst or whatever because i was uh you know i homeschool my daughter so i was uh doing her lessons today and now i'm incorporating typing and coding into her lessons and uh, we were doing some coding if you look at my insta story we were doing some coding together and on each um before each section they have a video of somebody else who helped develop the coding program and it was a young young lady she was like she does some type of analytics or building for google who helped it was a part of the project of building the coding program so i found that to be very interesting you know young young people younger than me you know what i mean getting jobs at google just because the skills yeah they're looking for the skills the tech yeah erica classy clam talks about that a lot too as far as uh learning a new skill dealing with tech and um tech writing and and, and things of that nature because that's where the jobs is going to is paying when am I gonna drop the Dojo Academy? Whew. Uh I'm literally, I'm literally, it's funny you said that. I'm literally that's a part of me streamlining. I'm literally putting putting that whole thing together. You know, I'm literally putting that whole thing together. Like how I see it, 
uh, I see it in kind of two different ways, but I kind of see it like right now I'm looking at it in the context of a landing page, right? And it like has the different, the steps and the different levels of turning your pennies into dollars and they have those different things and start as a summer school program. Uh, well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of something maybe online, you know what I'm saying? Online that has, that has, um, uh, the different, the different levels and the different, um, the different things. So everybody could come in at their own level and then branch off from there. If that makes sense. So, you know, some people are at the pennies, the dollars level. Some people are at the dollars, the leverage level and other people are at the leverage to freedom level. So, you know, I have one section on pennies, the dollars, and I have the, the different, uh, aspects and sections and the steps involved with it then i have the the um, dollars the leverage and i have the different different steps um to that b did it what they do queen p will what they do then i have the different steps to it from that aspect and then the leverage to freedom i have the different things once you get to that point now you have these particular options that you could go to as well too and then with the leverage to freedom i bring in you know, maybe some affiliate type of situation with the different individuals. So now you can say, okay, well, uh, so I'll give you an example with, with, with the trucking aspect, right? So I'm dropping my dually course, right? Uh, if you're not following the King Truck and Justin, make sure you follow him. He's about to drop his, uh, I have the authority course, right? So, and I'm gonna be dropping my dually course right after that. So, from, I'm just giving you an example from the trucking realm, right? And you may not like, you know, may not want to go into trucking, but I'm just giving you an example. So it'll be like, okay, well, and I'm also affiliate with Hood Estates uh, with the passive trucking course. So it'll be like, okay, well, do you want to make $1,000 a week passively with semis? Do you want to make $1,000 a week as passive as possible with duallys? Or do you want to make $1,000 a day for full operations with semis so now you have three different options to get into trucking and they go from passive uh moderate then actually aggressive in the sense of with trucking justin with authority you're actually running the operations everyday operations and everything right so you have these three options but that would be in a section of uh leverage uh, leverage to freedom that would be in that particular section but some people don't have the funds or the credit to even get invested in that, you know, because the minimum investment might be give or take around 15000 right? So with that being said, you're going to need to go to the pennies to dollars aspect to get to that level. Or you might need to go to the dollars to leverage to get your leverage to get into that, right? So everybody's at a different level and a different step. So it'll have those different levels and steps all on one landing page or website if you will that's kind of like my concept for it like the you know what i'm saying black lotus dojo academy type of situation or a gps academy scenario Shh. i'm on my live now baby okay ale ale so but that's that's more or less that's more or less my um you know what i'm working on and my goal and the perspective that i'm coming from with it but um you know you know um that's how that goes hold on one second baby go ahead i'm i'm on live right now okay go eat your dinner go eat your dinner right now please oh go see if you have some more go see if you have some more um yeah so anyway i apologize about that y'all know my daughter's on deck you know what I mean? It's one of them days. Um, so, yeah, but that's that's uh, the concept that I have for it, you know, the concept I have for it. And I'd like to and I'd like to um, I'd like to um, I'd like to also add add uh, different mindsets. Hey, I'm getting hella compliments on your clothes, fam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I got the. uh Oh, that's another thing too, man. Shout out to the King Man to Obi. Make sure y'all check him out, man. Dope artist, man. Dope artist and um drop shipping, drop drop shipping guru, if you will. 
he has some definitely successful uh drop shipping stuff we're gonna have to link too man you know what i'm saying we're gonna have to link i gotta get you on mindset monday as a guest as well too man this year i'm gonna have a lot of different dope guests from a lot of different aspects on multi uh faceted and creative that baby ate her dinner already yeah i know i was just i already know she ate it i was just trying to be like oh yeah go eat some more you know whatever the case may be you know what i'm saying straight up yeah yeah so yeah this year i'm gonna have some you know i'm gonna have the entrepreneurs and you know i'm gonna have a lot of different guesses that but i'm gonna have some create i'm gonna have a lot of different creatives as guests as well too you know what i mean because um i'm gonna be honest with y'all in the past year because i did i released two records last year or whatever but in this whole gps pennies the dollars that i transition in a lot of cases i lost some of my creativity i lost some of my creativity and i lost myself in the process right because it's like well you got to do one not got to do one thing but people see you for one particular thing if you will right so i started you know down this whole wealth path and i transitioned from my music and creativity like i said i still dropped two records i haven't been you know and i dropped some freestyles and stuff but i haven't been as creative or you know i feel like i lost myself in the the music and artistic realm in a lot of senses in the past year so so much focused on business and you know creating value and and relationships in the business realm i lost a lot of my passion and creativity right and i got to get back to that because if you don't have joy you don't have anything else too yeah you can have health and can have wealth but without happiness and joy you know you're dealing with mental health you know millionaires kill themselves every day so i feel like i lost myself in that realm as well too so i'm going to get back into that too you know what i mean uh past the collection plate <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I definitely and, you know, like I say, man, I come on here and I'm transparent or I try to be as transparent as possible uh, with y'all. You know, I try to be as transparent as possible. And I'm not going to lie. I lost myself. I lost myself in in that realm, in a sense. You know what I mean? Um, and I was um, I did some studio work. Um, I recorded I recorded a record. um over the Christmas break, um, with with my people's uh, Chris, beautiful mind, and that was the second record that we did. Yeah, you know, and and just being being in that zone, being creative, being able to you know to have the freedom to write rhymes, and you know I'm not thinking about you know what content, what am I gonna post, or the marketing, or you know, the YouTube, how I'm going to monetize this or affiliate link that. Yeah, Beautiful Mind 1. Yeah, we did a record. that We actually did. That's our second record that we've done. If you ever heard me uh, when I'm like $10,000 bills, I should add, well, the Malcolm Gladwell line that I use for the commercial for Mindset Money. That's actually a whole record that I did with him. And we just recorded another record uh, on this Christmas break. And it felt good. You know what I mean? It felt good to just be in the zone, the creative zone to to write and, you know, write a verse and write a record. And I enjoy that process. I come to find out, you know, and like I said, I had lost myself. So it was the time I remember last year on my birthday and I told this story. Um, I had I had a substantial amount of money and I had someone. We had a good black ass time over the holidays. Oh man, we had a ball. So, but um, yeah. So I had a good substantial amount of money, and I had my mom watch my daughter, and I could have did anything I wanted to do and went anywhere I wanted to go for a little while, and I didn't really do anything for the most part. And uh, I was talking to Sunny Speaks about that, and she was like, "That's a sign that I was depressed. I was in depression." So when I seen like, you know, um, Kaisen Investor check out her Insta story, she was saying she depressed. And I want to talk to you about that anyway, but that's another story. But I could relate. I could relate to that. 
And I think that a part of that was me losing myself and me losing what I enjoy doing. I enjoy music. You know, I've been doing music 20 years, you know, um, and that's something that I enjoy. I enjoy the creative process. The business behind a lot of this stuff, I don't enjoy, but I do enjoy to create. I do enjoy. You good now? Okay. All right. Cool. Making sure I hope we ain't got to go whoop nobody, right? But um, I do enjoy that. I do enjoy the process of creation. I do enjoy the process of brainstorming. Um, but... I, you know, the business has to be done. There's business behind, <laughs> there's business behind everything, but I don't enjoy that. So, you know, it's the, the planning part, the creation part, uh, the brainstorming, the idea. I love that part. Even the perspective of, okay, well, yeah, this is a different angle or this is a creative way of doing something. I love that. The patience still working on. The patience definitely still working on. So I'm a work in progress just like we all are. You know, I'm a work in progress just like we all are. And, you know, like I say, we all we all going to make it. You know what I mean? We all going to get it done. But it does take plan and perspective and patience. You know what I mean? And sometimes you got to revamp that plan. Sometimes you got to rearrange that plan. You know, like Cat Williams say, try some shit, try some shit, it don't work. Switch it up, try again. You know what I mean? So we got to continue to... Um, we got to continue to reinvent ourselves and sometimes reinvent the plan or adjust the plan, call a little audible on the plan at times. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're going to hold each other accountable on that. You know, we're going to hold each other accountable on that. But one thing that we are going to do is I want everybody, if you're not, make sure you follow my YouTube channel. Make sure you, uh, yep, sometimes you got to pivot. Absolutely, Queen. Absolutely. I want y'all to uh, follow my Facebook group, Black Lotus Dojo Club, because everybody who's on here in support, I would like you to join that community because even though we're doing, everybody may be doing something different, we all need, you know what I'm saying, the different tactics and tips to fund whatever it is and also support. So, for instance, Sunny Speaks have her vegan challenge. She posting about her vegan challenge in there. Somebody else who does battle rapping, like legit battle rapping. He's posting his battle rapping in there. So I want to support every everybody's realm. What they do, King, Justin, Truck and Justin's on the line. Hey, make sure if you're not following him, make sure you go follow him. He's about to drop his course. Y'all got nine days, nine more days before he drops his course. I have the authority trucking course. We're looking forward to that, King, and we definitely support you. If you watch my Insta stories, I'm constantly putting it in, in Insta stories. Because I've I seen that he's running three semi-trucks, and, I, you know, we talk, we talk often, and I, and I see the work that he's put in, man. I'm very proud of you, King. We often ask for new blessings, but our houses are already cluttered. Mmm. Mmm. Sometimes we got to unclutter. We got to unclutter. Um, what do they say? You can't, you can't give, you can't, you can't receive with a, with a closed hand. Is that what it is? Something like that, right? If you got your hand closed, you can't receive, you can't give, but you also can't receive either with a closed hand. So you got to be open to it. Is that, is that kind of similar to new blessings in closed house? Make space for what you ask for. Mmm. Most definitely. Make space for what you ask for. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, does that mean taking something off your plate to, to get it? I'm going to give an example. So, Sunny Speaks, she has um, her vegan steak and she has um, her, her e-book. Right. So does that mean that you put one of those things aside so you can do the dinners per se? If that does that make sense to you? Like, do you put do you put something down? Oh, and you missed a plate. You missed a plate. Uh, Justin, you missed hella food for New Year's, man. 
You miss hella food for New Year's. Okay, so that's what that means. You put you put you put one thing down because you want something else. It's difficult to focus on multiple things at one time. That I understand. Take it from me. I understand. You feel me? I understand. Yeah, man, the fam, the fam rock with you, King Justin. The fam definitely rock with you. I'm sorry, the children are human anchors. <laughs> oh man, yeah, man. I I was in Miami. I got a chance to um, hang out with Truck and Justin. He came by, uh, met the fam. But something that um, I like that we do when we get a chance, and I'm down in Miami, we have our daughters connect. Our daughters connect. You know. And we uh, let them play at the park and different stuff like that. I love that. You know what I'm saying? I love the fact that my daughter and his daughters connect. You know what I'm saying? That's that's something heavy. You know what I'm saying? That's something heavy that I that I appreciate and I really like. So, um, yeah. This girl always comes to take over my life. I don't I don't I don't get it. But um, yeah. So. <laughs> So, Sonny Speaks and the Kaizen Investor. You got to take something. This girl here. You got to take you got to take something off your plate. So, my question to you is what Come here. Come say hello to everybody since you want to come on here and be on the live. Hey. Hey everybody. All right. Now you said that. Go clean up your room. Go see if your room is clean. Um so what do you <laughs> what do you decide what do you decide to take off your plate? How do you decide that? How do you decide that is my question. So you're gonna take off Vipa Lokonya Sherry. Vipa Lokonya. Everybody said they wanna see you. They don't wanna see me no more. They wanna see you. Vinny. Come here. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. They don't wanna see. All right, there you go. There's the star of the show. <clears throat> well, so my daddy is here, my mommy is here, my mommy has games on her phone, my daddy has games on his phone. What's the difference between, uh, what's an asset? Assets are? Good. And liabilities are? Bad. Assets build? Wealth. And what, as, uh, liabilities build? Nothing. Very good. Very, very good. Very good. Were you doing your coding today? Yes. All right. All right. Ale. Ale Domina. So, <clears throat> so, um, you said depends, you said depends on what your, what your, uh, goal is, what you're taking off the plate. That's what you said, Sunny Speaks. Because, uh, yeah, so, what do you mean? Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Elaborate on that a little bit. As far as depends on what your goal is to take off to take off your plate and what aspect. You know what I mean? Yeah, thanks for the hearts. Yeah, you know. Over here doing, you know what I'm saying, doing the uh the best I can, you know what I'm saying, trying to teach her what I know and you know, what I've learned and stuff like that. Constantly give away things. What you mean? So, it what well what we were saying in, in in the context of a goal, right? So we were saying you're using Sunny Speaks as an example and in the context of okay, she wants to get her steaks in in five restaurants, right? For example, I like doing trapping, but it doesn't bring as much capital as my steak. I need capital to run my business, so I have to focus on the steak right now. Okay, okay. So you're gonna um take take the vegan trapping off your plate in order to focus on your steaks to elevate it more. Okay, that makes sense. When the capital builds, then you can go back to doing trapping. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense as well. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Um it takes a lot of overhead. Sometimes sometimes it um it takes a lot of different overhead. Chill, chill, commenting. So sometimes sometimes some of the stuff that we doing takes a lot of overhead. It takes a lot of overhead. Oh my gosh. 
She just wanted. <laughs> did you do your schoolwork today? Yes. What schoolwork did. did you do today? Math, reading, comprehension, and reading. What about typing? Yeah. Did you type sentences? Yes. What about coding? Yeah. What kind of coding did you do today? I'm dancing sorry about this. coding. Oh, dancing, dancing coding? Dancing coding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry about this, y'all. You know what I'm saying? She just, uh, just straight up takes over the page. She got a page too, man. It's private. But if y'all want to follow her, uh, Charlie with the eye. All right. Shh, shh, I'm on the live. Uh, if y'all want to follow her page, y'all like it. Since y'all like us so much, it's Charlie underscore learns. Charlie with the I, no E. C H A R L I underscore learns. That's her page. It's private, though. But um, if you uh put in the request, I control it. I'll let y'all in. They say, <laughs> I ain't got to be sorry. They're here for Charlie. <laughs> they like you, Charlie. They like you. Oh, she also has a YouTube channel, too. So uh, it's Charlie. Charlie Time, C H A R L I Time. So she have her page, Instagram page, but it's private. Charlie underscore learns, and um, her YouTube channel is Charlie Time. So y'all can subscribe to that as well too. Um, she's post, you know, she's doing different stuff on there. You know what I mean? Reading books, making pizza, different things of that nature. So yeah, she got her own YouTube page and she got her own Instagram, well, her own YouTube channel. She'd be like, "Hi guys, welcome to my channel." You know what I'm saying? So Hi guys, welcome to your channel. I'm probably gonna put her in she's already guys. playing the piano and several instruments, but I'm probably gonna put her into some I play violin. Oh, really? Yeah. Um and um some acting classes too, cause she could drop a tear or on a command bass. on some Denzel Glory shit. You see what I'm saying? She deserves an Oscar. Or you know what I'm saying? Actor. But uh <laughs> but um, I done lost at this school because she can crown the man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She could crown the man. You feel me? Like she could drop the Denzel tear. Like you know what I'm saying on some glory. Oh my lord. Yeah, exactly. Single tear from glory. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. She's you know what I'm saying. She does it. So yeah, we gonna get her in there and uh, you know what I'm saying. She gonna she gonna be our ticket out too. You know what I mean? She gonna be our she gonna be our ticket out as well too, so you know we need that we need that for real for real. So um, wrapping up. Well, no, we got a couple more minutes, but um, every she's everybody's Charlie. Y'all y'all are really here for Charlie. Like forget me, forget Black Lotus. It's about Charlie. It's about Charlie. Well, you know. I'm building this this company for her anyway, so you know, Black Lotus, she, it's it's hers anyway. It's gonna be hers anyway. You know what I'm saying? But um, <laughs> yeah, man, she the star. Nobody gonna be wanting to see me. Everybody be wanting to see Charlie, straight up and down. You know what I mean? Straight up and down. So um, let me plug Charlie Mondays. <laughs> no more mindset Monday. It's Charlie Mondays, right? Oh gosh. So um just to uh Daddy, just to uh Daddy re replug it. Now she comes with a doctor kit trying to give me a shot. It Go ahead. Hurt. You gotta put it on the camera. Ow! It hurt. It it didn't hurt. Um so <laughs> Black Lotus try, Daddy. Okay, baby. Black Lotus <laughs> Black Lotus Dojo Club. Uh, Facebook group make sure you follow that mm -hmm. make sure you get on the sh sh sh. make yeah. sure you follow the uh, One, Sunny Speaks two. vegan challenge the 21 day challenge <laughs> you a hater you a hater um, so let me plug let, let me make sure I plug everything okay uh, Kaizen, in, Kaizen Investor make sure you follow her she have her soul food Sundays Follow her YouTube channel. Alex, good energy. What they do, King. What they do, King. 
Love what you're doing out there, man. Love what you're doing. I got my dually course coming, King. I got my dually dojo course coming, dealing with car hauling. I know you're on the freight tip. I got my dually dojo course coming, man. We're going to have to collab. We're going to have to do some things, right? We're going to have to do some things, definitely, King. What they do. Make sure y'all follow the King Alex. Good energy. Got a great movement going on. He got uh, the trucking portal. Um, you going to buy it? <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. You know, I'm breaking down the whole car hauling realm, everything that's needed, how it all works, the logistics behind it. You know what I mean? So it's going to be uh, six different modules. Just about done with that. That's going to be coming out probably next month. Um, but yeah, make sure y'all follow Alex Good Energy. Definitely inspiring. Definitely inspiring. Make sure y'all follow the Kaizen Investor. She have the Soul Food Sundays plus the YouTube channel. I got the Black Lotus Dojo uh, Club Facebook group. We're going to be supporting everybody, multi, uh, multifaceted creatives. Seven billion people in the world. Enough money for us all, King. Absolutely. 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 Um, and so, yeah. So the Facebook group is uh multifaceted creatives but we are going to be supporting each other's movement for instance we got sunny speaks hey king alex man i know you getting with your good energy and you got your guy mr two weeks out with the uh with the workout make sure you follow sunny speaks man world-class vegan chef have her own patented um uh, vegan steak man she got a 21 day vegan challenge that she's gonna be doing it's in the facebook so make sure y'all check that out the kaizen investor this is my daughter she's checking my heart with her that stethoscope thank you she's the star of the show y'all she's the star of the show uh but um so i just want to make sure that i want to just make sure that i uh plug everybody and let everybody know what's going on make sure y'all follow wait wait baby i'm finishing up the live okay um make sure y'all follow uh queen molly not kim she has some excellent information that's going to be coming for the young adults who are not interested in going to college or not interested in going to the military so she's going to have some insight make sure you follow chuck and justin he got the i have the authority course coming out january 15th all right Kaizen Investor, Soul Food Sunday YouTube channel. I have YouTube channel, Trey Snatch. All of these Mindset Mondays will be going on the YouTube channel as well too, okay? Um, Y'all already know what it is. Black Lotus is the brand. It is the lifestyle. Pennies, the dollars, dollars, the leverage. Leverage your way to freedom. You feel me? We're going to have the different, like Kaizen Investor says, going to have the Dojo Academy coming for y'all shortly, you know? And um, we're going to definitely be streamlining this and bringing more information, more value, more content. This. Hold on, baby. More value, more content to the people. Okay. You know what I mean? Make sure you plan. Oh, King Mansa Obi, if I forgot. Mm -hmm. Make sure y'all follow King Mansa Obi. Great artist. Deal with drop shipping as well. Have some successful drop shipping stores. Great artist. When I went to New York, we went ahead and linked up. Got to uh, send me that record. We cut a record when I went to New Orleans this summer, too. But, um... Yes, definitely, you know, and make sure y'all follow the Facebook group because we're going to be supporting each other. Whatever we're doing, we're going to be definitely getting it out there to the community and supporting each other. Whether you're doing cooking, whether you're doing uh, knowledge for young adults, whether you're doing the wholesaling or just bringing the mindset and the soul food perspective to the people. We're going to be supporting everybody, each other's uh, movement and business It's multi is for multifaceted uh entrepreneurs and creatives all right so make sure y'all dm me so y'all can get access to it it's a private group it's no monthly service fee or anything like that it's a private group and i want y'all to post and be active in there all right so uh as y'all know black lotus is the brand of lifestyle pennies the dollars dollars to leverage leverage your way to freedom if you purchase merchandise or listen to the music uh you support me if you purchase a book or book a consultation you invest in yourself Thank y'all. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but y'all rocking with me. And I appreciate your time. I appreciate your attention and your interaction. All right? Y'all know what it is. Same place, same time, 7 o'clock, Eastern Standard Time, every Monday, Mindset Monday. Going to be bringing you a lot of great Mindset Mondays this year. All right? So thank y'all, Royalty. Instagram giving me one more minute less than that left. So thank y'all. 
thank everybody who came on and i will definitely see y'all next week and my palm itching so i receive it <laughs> that money coming that sh money is coming all right so definitely i'm going to save this live plus i'm a screen recorder and it will be on the youtube channel all right thank y'all y'all have a great week remember planning perspective patience let's get it all right let's stay focused let's not get discouraged y'all have a good night